After a year without any MCU content, 2021 was the most important year for the superhero franchise to date. That's not an exaggeration because in addition to four films, we also got five MCU TV shows on Disney+. We've come a long way from being grateful for just one or two MCU installments per year. With so much Marvel content to enjoy in 2021, it was hard to pick the top 10 MCU moments. So here they are. Before we get any further, be sure to subscribe to Marvel Tens and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. All right, here we go. At number 10, Taskmaster's identity being revealed. Although Taskmaster is a mercenary named Tony Masters in Marvel Comics, the MCU chose to give the identity and photographic reflexes to someone else for Black Widow. Fans have speculated for years about who is behind the mask, and now we know. It's Antonio Drakoff, the daughter of the Russian general who ran the Red Room. Originally thought to be killed by Natasha Romanoff, both Drakoff and Antonia survived, though the latter was severely injured, prompting her father to implant a chip in her head that relieved her pain but also gave him complete control over her. Next up at number 9, Ultron vs The Watcher. Uatu The Watcher was merely a spectator, never interfering with the events unfolding across the multiverse, no matter how bad things got. When a version of Ultron empowered by the Infinity Stones discovered Uatu's existence, he wasted no time in attacking the Watcher. Uatu fought bravely, but he was no match for the godlike Ultron and was forced to flee. At number 8, Meeting Contessa Valentina Allegra di Fontaine. After his journey as the second Captain America ended abruptly, John Walker was approached by the enigmatic Val, played by Julia Louise Dreyfus. John now has a bright future as the US agent thanks to her. Valentina reappeared in Black Widow after making her debut in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where she assigned Yelena Belova to track down Clint Barton, whom she blamed for Natasha Romanoff's death. At number 7, reuniting with Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin. Following the tease of Maya Lopez's uncle in the Hawkeye episode Echoes, speculation was rampant that we'd not only see Wilson Fisk, aka Kingpin, in the Disney Plus series, but Vincent D'Onofrio would reprise his role following his time as the character on Daredevil on Netflix. At the end of the episode called Ronin, D'Onofrio's Kingpin was revealed to be the big guy. At the end of episode 5, called Ronin, D'Onofrio's Kingpin was revealed to be the big guy that Clint Barton was worried about who was not only leading the tracksuit mafia, but also working with Kate Bishop's mother, Eleanor Bishop. At number 6, Sam Wilson becoming Captain America. The elderly Steve Rogers gave his vibranium shield to Sam Wilson, his crime-fighting partner since the events of Captain America the Winter Soldier, at the end of Avengers Endgame. Nonetheless, in The Falcon and Winter Soldier on Disney+, Plus, Sam was initially unwilling to become the new Captain America, which led to the United States government selecting John Walker to take on the mantle instead. Following John's fall from grace and Sam regaining control of the shield, the latter finally accepted carrying on Steve's legacy. At number 5, Shang-Chi inheriting the Ten Rings from Wenwu. To say Shang-Chi and his father Wenwu didn't get along is an understatement in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. The former did not want anything to do with his father's criminal enterprise, while the latter would go to any length to take back his wife. However, once the Dweller in Darkness and his minions were released from Ta Lo, the father and son were able to overcome their differences and fight the common enemies. And in his final moments, Wenwu passed on to Shang-Chi the powerful rings that had kept him alive for centuries. At number 4, it's been Agatha all along. Okay, so this one isn't really totally accurate because it wasn't Agatha's fault that Westview was turned into a hex. However, we discovered at the end of the WandaVision episode, Breaking the Fourth Wall, that Wanda Maximoff and Vision's wacky neighbor Agnes were actually Agatha Harkness, a witch who snuck into Westview to study Wanda's power and was responsible for killing Sparky the dog and sending, quote, Pietro Maximoff to the Maximoff household. And number 3, the Eternals preventing the birth of a Celestial. It was revealed in Eternals that the Celestials had been planting seeds on populated planets for millions of years in order to produce new Celestials. Following the reversal of the blip and the annihilation of nearly all the Deviants, the time had come for the Emergence, which is the birth of the Celestial known as Tiumut, which would result in the destruction of Earth. While the starring Eternals characters discovered the truth, there was discord in the group, while some wanting to allow Tiamat's birth to take place as planned and others wanting to prevent it so that the Earth could be saved. The latter group eventually triumphed, with the Unimind turning the partially emerged Tiamat to marble. At number 2, Spider-Man meets Spider-Man and Spider-Man? 
As if seeing Tom Holland's Spider-Man fight villains from the previous Spider-Man film series wasn't cool enough, it was long rumored that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield would reprise their roles as Peter Parker in the film. That is exactly what happened, with Ned conjuring portals to these older Spider-Men in an attempt to find his version of Peter. It was truly awesome. And finally at number 1, the multiverse being unleashed. Loki and Sylvie finally met the person truly in charge of the Time Variance Authority in the final episode of Loki Season 1, Jonathan Majors' He Who Remains, a variant of Kang the Conqueror. He Who Remains, tired of keeping the main MCU timeline in check, gave Loki and Sylvie two options, take over his job as leader of the TVA and keep the timeline in check, or kill him, therefore unleashing the multiverse. Enraged by what the TVA has done to her, Sylvie chose the latter option, resulting in the TVA being ruled by the main Kang. So guys, that was it for today's video. What do you think about our video? Let us know in the comments down below. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe to Marvel 10s and ring that notification bell so that you never miss our video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.